so now let's take a look at an example of nested stacks so first of all i have this basic cloud formation template which creates an s3 bucket so if you see in the resources section we have our logical name s3 bucket type s3 bucket and properties it has a property called access control and the value is public read so this bucket that's going to be created will have public read access and it will just provide any name to the bucket and in the output section we have this bucket name and its value would be referencing to this s3 bucket and so basically it will print the name of the s3 bucket so that's our output section so this is not a nested template or nested stack or anything like that it's just a basic cloud formation template that would create an s3 bucket so i have uploaded this at this url and you can upload it in your s3 bucket somewhere create a s3 bucket and upload your cloud formation template over there and make sure it has public access or read access otherwise your cloud formation stack won't be able to access the link so once you have your template uploaded what we are going to do is create another template so i have this template where in the resources section i have this logical name my stack and the type is cloud formation stack and the properties that is a property template url and i'm specifying the location of the template so it's over here in the s3 bucket i would upload it it over here and we have a timeout which is 60 minutes so if the template doesn't get created in 60 minutes it will time out so we have this nested template inside our main template and this template creates an s3 bucket so now in the output section there is a section called stack reference and its value is my stack so it's referring to the stack the nested stack and it has a section called or a key called output from next stack and the value is a function called get attribute which will say go to my stack go to its outputs and go to the bucket name so let's go to my stack so which is over here and the output sections for that we'll go to here and then it's looking for bucket name so it's over here and it will fetch the value and over here the value will be the actual bucket name so to repeat again we have this my stack section which is referencing to this template url which creates an s3 bucket and in the output section we have we can reference the bucket name from our my stack so you can use this concept similarly to create a vpc in a separate template and then reference the vpc id in your main template and then give that vpc id to your ec2 instance creation or some other places like rds creation so in that way you can create nested stacks so let's run this first of all we're going to hit refreshed over here you can see it's creating my stack and it's going to add its metadata and all if you go over here it's to our basic s3 creation template it will create s3 bucket and it's validating the template and now let's just create a stack out of it so every time it creates a stack it uploads it to an s3 location so we are going to select that and click on next name s3 nested stack it's 
so it's saying it's going to modify some IAM permissions because the bucket has a public read access I'm going to click create and refresh so it's saying create in progress and you can see there are like two stacks being created first uh, it will start the process for the main stack but it will also start the process for the nested stack so it will create resources inside the nested stack and then it will also create and execute our main stack so our nested stack creation is completed and it uh, it will create a s3 bucket for us and that bucket will be referenced in our main stack so if we go to our s3 and i'm going to refresh and you can see over here a bucket was created with public read access so this is the part that creates the bucket and over here if you go to the output section the output from nested stack is the bucket name so if you go to the template section and in the output section output from nested stack which is over here and the value is the bucket name so the value is this part and it's printing the bucket name from my stacks outputs bucket name and one thing I would like to note is we have this template over here and we can reference the different properties of this template in this main template but it doesn't necessarily have to be in the output section it could be in the resources section as well like we discussed you could create a VPC inside an, a different template and then reference the VPC ID somewhere in the resources section to create your EC2 instance. So that's how you can leverage nested stacks in CloudFormation. Now that we have our nested, nested stack created, let's delete and see what happens. So I'll go, I'll go to my CloudFormation and to delete it, I just have to click on the main stack and then I can just delete it. So I don't have to individually delete all the stacks. So I'm just going to click delete stack. So it will also delete our nested stack, but it won't delete the actual template location or where we had uploaded the template. So in our this case, the nested stack was creating an S3 bucket. So it will delete that S3 bucket that was created by the stack and then it will delete the resources created in the main stack as well. And you could have multiple nested stacks. It doesn't have to be one stack. So after a while it's gone, I'll go back to my S3, refresh, and you can see that the bucket that was created by nested stack is also gone.